The dramatic movie begins on August 6, 1897. We are shown an empty ship called Timid or there was no one in it. When the ship reaches the shore, the police come to investigate it. They also found nothing there. Everyone was surprised that how did the empty ship come to another city? While investigating, the police get a diary which was of the captain of the ship. It was written that if that thing falls on humans, it will destroy everyone like this ship. After reading this, when they see the condition of the ship, they get scared after this, we are shown the story of three weeks ago now from here. We will know what happened to that ship. We see the ship called Timidor whose captain was loading some cargo on that ship because there was a lot of luggage he needed some more people. Then he meets a man named Clemens here who was a doctor by profession but he did not need a doctor to load the luggage on the ship but he needed some laborers. Clemens tells him that I have to go to London for work if possible. Will you take me on your ship? But the captain refuses him then some people had kept the luggage on the ship but they did not want to go with the captain on that ship some returned the money to the captain saying that it is night and we cannot go on the journey anyway when the remaining people were keeping the luggage on the ship a crate was about to fall on the child which Clemens saves actually that child was the captain's grandson seeing this the captain thanks Clemens and he was now ready to take him with him actually that crate was about to fall due to the fear of a man because because he had seen some marks on that crate which were of the dragon seeing which he was very scared so now he refuses to go with the captain and shouts at the captain a lot anyway. All the luggage had been kept some people start their journey with the captain on the ship including Clemens when people see him going on that ship they say out of fear may God protect them anyway. The captain's grandson was showing his entire ship to Clemens and the captain starts writing his diary which he often wrote during his journey he writes his first blog that our journey has begun it will take us three weeks to finish this journey today is the first day of our journey then a man from the team comes to him whose name was Wojcik who finds out that the captain is now going to London and will finish his journey forever and he will go to the city and raise his grandson that is. The captain is going to retire after this journey and then he will hand over this ship to Wojcik to run. Wojcik was happy to hear this but a little sad too the next day the captain was telling all the workers about their salaries but Clemens says no I don't want any salary that's why he hears strange voices. During this time when he he goes to check he doesn't find anyone there suddenly there is a storm in the sea their ship collides with a wave just when they were taking the goods a great box falls down in which they found a lot of soil but inside that soil they also find a girl on which Wojcik says that I think someone has deliberately sent this girl between us she can be a threat to us we should kill her but the captain does not believe him and tells Clemens to treat her because he was a doctor. When he checks, he finds out that the girl is very sick and she needs a lot of blood. Clemens had given her his blood once, but that girl needed a lot of blood looking at her. It seemed as if someone had sucked all the blood from her body on the same night. They see the crate box, on which the man was scared to see the dragon. Then a strange looking monster comes out of that box on the other hand. Clemens tells the captain's grandson to stay with that girl whom he was treating and he himself comes out, where he finds Wojcik's one more companion. He believed that it was wrong for the girl to be on the ship then when he was looking through the binoculars his eyes fell on the same monster, of which he was able to see a little glimpse seeing this. He gets very scared and tells Clemens everything but he does not believe anything he says and says that you must be delusional there is nothing else when the captain's grandson's dog goes inside the basement of the ship, then something attacked him. After a while, a worker came there to feed the animals then all the animals meet him dead seeing this. Everyone was scared the captain says, see, whoever has done this let it come in front of you because the captain was doubting his own workers but his workers blame Clemens for all this and blame the unconscious girl the captain says no. He can't do anything like that when he looks at the animals closely the captain finds out that their death is due to the spread of this infection that's why he now orders to throw 
all the dead animals in the water after that. His journey slowly passed for two weeks, but he still had two more weeks to go to his destination. But until now, that unconscious girl was not fine. He also says that I think there is a shadow of some dark power on this girl. And I have seen that thing and Clemens has also seen it, but he is not ready to believe. Then the captain's grandson says that I have heard this girl talking unconsciously. She was saying her name Anna, and she keeps saying the same word again and again Anna. Anna after hearing this, everyone thinks that what could it mean? When Clemens was roaming in the ship at night the worker tells him that the one who had found the dead animals says that now there is no sound of rats in the ship. Clemens says that maybe they have also died of infection. The worker says no. It is not possible how can all the rats die at the same time. There is definitely something that killed all the animals first and then the rats there is something dangerous that is not good for all of us. That's why a man of their team feels some sounds at night. When he goes to check there is the same monster that the first watchman's companion had also seen. He suddenly attacks that man. He sucked all his blood and then he goes to the side and eats his body actually. It was a Dracula monster that sucked the blood of humans and ate them after a while. Clemens also comes there who sees the broken part of the ship but he does not understand anything when it is morning. Everyone was gathered there because the captain was worried first the animals died and now a man of their team was missing at the same place. He also gets a fallen knife. The worker was now suspicious of Clemens. He says that this is new to us who knows he is doing all this. But Clemens tells him to believe himself that there is nothing like that that he cannot harm anyone. He tells him that I saw those animals carefully so I felt like someone had killed them. Then the same unconscious girl Anna gets off. She was scared to hear all this. She says to Clemens that he has come here too. Please get off this ship otherwise. He will kill us all. Clemens takes care of her. She felt that Anna has come to her senses after a long time so that's why she is getting weird thoughts. He takes her with him now. He talks to her. What was she talking about? Anna says that she is a Dracula monster who lived in a palace on the mountains. He comes out at night and drinks the blood of humans. I used to live at the place where his palace was. He used to come every night and he drank my blood little by little. She shows him her marks too. Anna says that he has come here too. He will kill everyone when it was raining heavily at night the ship's companion hears some strange sounds when he goes and sees. There was Dracula there who attacks him when the other companion comes to save him then Dracula had also killed him then the ship also starts shaking all the other people woke up when he comes and looks up. Then Wazik's companion is still alive because Dracula monster had only drunk his blood he was very injured and he was screaming in pain captain was also writing all these incidents in his diary what was happening with them here everyone was very scared they had understood that Dracula monster comes at night that's why the captain tells his two companions to take guns and guard and sent the rest of the people to search the ship with Wazik Wazik's injured companion is tied up because everyone was afraid that Dracula had bitten him so that he does not become a vampire Dracula captain's grandson who was in the ship's lobby comes out Wazik's companion had also turned into a Dracula that's why he comes and attacks the captain's grandson but he had locked himself in the cabin and starts calling for help hearing his voice everyone was running towards him when he comes inside. He sees his own companion inside who had now turned into Dracula that's why he tries to open the door of the cabin where the captain's grandson had locked himself. Captain sees through the hole that Dracula monster is also present in that cabin. Before he could open the door of the cabin Dracula had attacked his grandson he also bites him that's why Anna comes and runs the gun because of which the door of the cabin had opened. But now Dracula had bitten the captain's grandson so that's why he becomes unconscious everyone was very worried about him Clemens treats him and gives him his blood he had tied his companion who had turned into Dracula as soon as the morning comes that vampire Dracula was burned due to the sunlight Wazik also shoots him everyone was sitting and talking at night one of his companions says do we know that we are being punished for our sins 
Clemens says no there is nothing like that I am worried as if our companion's bite of Dracula turned into Dracula who knows this might happen with the captain's grandson Wazik says what do you mean? Should we kill him? Clemens says no we have to find a solution so that we can save him he goes with Anna and checks all the crates he had found the crate of Dracula but there was no Dracula in it because he was on his hunt he kills another companion of the captain who was running away with a small boat from here due to fear when the morning comes. Comes. The captain comes to know that his grandson has died he was very sad about this when everyone was going to throw his grandson's body in the water that's when the captain sees his grandson moving when he goes to him and opens his mouth so that two had now turned into Dracula but because of the sun it starts burning seeing this everyone throws him in the water due to which he also died the captain was very sad because of his grandson's death that's why everyone sends him to rest then they sit and talk to each other Clemens and the remaining companions make this plan that they will trap Dracula in their trap because they can't catch him so easily but now they were going to drown him in the water with this ship when Clemens goes and tells the captain all this then he says no you can't do that because that Dracula vampire has promised me that he will definitely return my grandson here Anna says no this cannot happen because I know about all this Dracula drives us crazy about such things which are very dear to us he trapped me in his trap in the same way and locked me in a box and then slowly my blood started drinking the captain also understood this that's why now for the last time he decides to run this ship himself because for whom he wanted to live he was not even in this world so that's why he didn't even care about his life it was night then he had laid a trap for Dracula but it was not easy to catch him that's why he suddenly attacks one of his companions then he attacks Wazik because of which he was badly injured that's that's why he starts digging in the ship quickly but Dracula also killed him after which he also attacks the captain and kills him too while dying. The captain tells Clemens about his diary he says that telling the world about this thing that what happened to us and everything is true Clemens was now angry he shouts and tells Dracula that you are not a god who will kill such people that's why he also attacks Clemens but Anna came and shot Dracula. But now Dracula was going to kill Anna too when Clemens comes and saves him then Dracula had caught him and was about to kill him that's why Clemens says to him do you think I am afraid of you? I am not afraid Dracula had picked up Clemens's neck and picked it up and says that now you will definitely be afraid that's why Anna cuts a big rope because of which Dracula was buried under a wooden pole Anna and Clemens jump into the water and then the story comes from the beginning scene as we had seen that the Demeter ship reaches the empty shore everyone was surprised to see it so now you must have understood the whole story here what happened to that ship now Dracula had also run away from there and Clemens and Anna had reached somewhere else while swimming Anna also turns into Dracula because it is obvious Dracula had cut her and drank blood that's why she had gone away from Clemens and as soon as the first ray of the sun comes out it burns and dies after a few days Clemens is shown to us which was now in London where there was talk of the Demeter ship everywhere its story was also known to everyone through captain's diary no one was left in it but Clemens and Dracula were left in that ship about which no one knows Clemens knew that Dracula is hidden in the city about which no one knows anything where is Dracula then we are shown Dracula who is living among humans wearing human clothes his eyes are still on Clemens and their Clemens was also looking for him so that he can take revenge from him so will Clemens be able to find Dracula with this suspense the story of this movie also ends here.